Indian Express, 13th of April 2024, India-China border dispute, the lax reality behind the hype. China is developing its navy to control the Indian Ocean while launching an all-out war against the Indian subcontinent to divert India's attention to the north. The outcry is that China is losing significant territory in eastern Ladakh to improve election prospects on the pretext of national security. Congressman Rahul Gandhi brought up the matter in August last year, however, no studies or professional opinions support his allegations. Gandhi's family lost Akshay Chin. Undoubtedly, Ladakh has been and will remain a significant hotspot. Besides the 1,597 kilometers long line of actual control (LAC), which has divided China and India since 1962, this area has no borders. Not even the lack has a clear definition. Perceptions are different in the two countries. Patrolling is conducted up to 65 designated patrol points (PPs) from Chummer to Karakoram. The recent conflict points were at Depson PP 9, 10, 11, 12, 12A, and 13, at Galwan PP 14, at Hot Springs slash Changchenmo PP 15 and PP 16, and Gagra PP 17 and 17A. Sector Chushal Pangong. The situation is calm in the Sarijap range on the north bank of Pangong where Finger Series 1 through 8 protrude out in the Chushal Pangong area. In May 2020, the People's Liberation Army PLA, moved into the Finger 3 to 4 region to stop Indian troops from patrolling. The status quo from May 2020 to the disengagement agreement in February 2021 is being reinstated. In a significant preemptive strategic maneuver, the Indian Army thwarted the PLA's bold attempt in early September 2020 to seize Nyan Lung Yokma slash Gangma, also known as the Kailash Heights, which are situated between Pangong Tso and Spinger Gap at an elevation of 15,000 feet. Following an agreement to withdraw from the north and south of Pangong Tso in February 2021, peace was again restored. Chenmo Valley Chang. The PLA has built area denial for Indian soldiers in Galwan Valley, Changlong Nala, Hot Springs, and Kongrong Nala of Chang Chenmo Valley. These incursions are likewise quite tranquil now. The parties decided to stop talking in June 2020. The Gagra Hot Springs region saw unstable conditions until both sides decided to pull out on September 8, 2022. Although new patrolling norms are being established to create a buffer zone, this area has no advanced deployments. Every temporary building has been taken down. However, because China is still determined to return to the pre-April 2020 position, the situation in the PP-15 area is still tricky. Deemchok and Depson Only Depson and Deemchok, who existed before the 2020 standoff, are still causes for contention. The PLA has been launching offensive operations from track junction Nala to the south at Burt's slash Depson Plains since 2009. In 2011, the PLA constructed a 30-kilometer road from Rakanala to cross the Depson Plains. When the PLA established outlying outposts 18 to 19 kilometers inside Indian territory in 2013, it prevented Indian patrols from entering Burt's from PP-10. PP-11, PP-12, and PP-13, turning the area into a hotspot. The shocking disclosure that India had lost 640 square kilometers of territory due to the PLA's area denial was made in the August 2013 Shyam Saran report. The PLA has closed the bottle in a area since 2019, limiting India's patrolling limitations to PP-10 and PP-11. As with Galwan, the Chinese road development after our post at Murgo and Jeevan Nala to the south may cut off the Indian supply line to the DBO at Murgo. Experts say 600 to 800 square kilometers in the southern part of Depson Plains are under Chinese control. Here, the situation is still convoluted and unproductive. Thus, total detachment has proven difficult to achieve. Since 2018, the PLA has been impeding Indian patrols at the charting Nilong Nala, 
CNN, intersection in Dimchok by violating the law of arms. The argument is at a standstill. The Ladakhi Changpas lost their grazing land due to the Chinese and Indian armies heavily militarizing the area along the Ladakh-Haranagi corridor. Following the 2013 Depsung incident, India strengthened its defenses by bringing in multiple troops, including artillery. Improvements to the infrastructure It is impossible to ignore the recent expansion of Eastern Ladakh's infrastructure. In the past, the Chinese took advantage of India's lenient approach and used bullying and coercion to seize a portion of the Ladakh region between the 1960s and the 1990s. Now, things are different. Under the UPA administration, India's construction industry had increased, but the projects were beset by fraud and corruption. The BJP government has expedited connecting projects, such as the 260 km Shyok DBO road which was finished on a military schedule. Now that DBO can be reached in eight hours from Dorbuk, Indian troops have a significant advantage in the challenging terrain. India's increasing influence in distant regions was one of the main reasons the PLA reacted differently. It accused India of violating the LAC and started the 2020 Galwan standoff. Following the reactivation of all the defunct advanced landing grounds, ALGs, at DBO, Fuchs, and Nyoma, our aviation infrastructure has also been updated. Nyoma ALG is being developed into a full-fledged airstrip that can handle fighter jets and cargo. In addition to advancing the Chenghang region's economy, this will improve the security of Eastern Ladakh. Appropriate Reaction to China's Aggressiveness Ultimately, it is impossible to dispute that the Indian military prevented China from achieving a strategic triumph in 2020 by providing a just response to China's planned attack. Beijing has been forced to acknowledge the price of taking risks. Even though the 21st round of negotiations at the level of the core commander was held in February to ease tensions in the area, the situation in the lack is undoubtedly still stuck. Thus. The claim that large areas have been lost is greatly exaggerated. In theory, there hasn't been any encroachment from our end of the lack. Only the grey zone patrolling locations have disparities because of variations in lack perception. After the new government is constituted in New Delhi, all parties should seize new chances to restart the delayed process of elucidating the lack.